Okay, let's start the burning tutorial of FlyD5. Open our official website. We are D5 product documentation. Main board. Find the FlyD series. Then FlyD5 starts here. Earlier we introduced this main board. Then let's start its burning tutorial. Okay, let's take a brief look at the firmware burning guidelines first. This is the D5, which leaves the factory on September 1st, 2024. Catapult firmware has been burned. And that's what we're going to do today. Is to teach everyone to burn USB firmware. Or this USB bridge firmware. Then these two firmware, if you need to use our tool board, Our tool board will burn this. Burn in this USB bridge firmware. If you don't need Tao's tool board, just burn the USB firmware. Then let's click on the burning of the USB firmware. Then it will jump to the USB firmware burning tutorial. Then here's what we're going to prepare. Let's connect the host computer to the computer first. We need to prepare two USB Type-C data cables, then one piece installed Clipper's host computer, then our main board D5, then use this USB port, connect the D5 board. Check is the Bell Catapult firmware flushed. Press the button twice. If this light is blinking, the BL firmware has been brushed, then we can jump to the next step. Plug in the data cable and flash directly and double click the flash, it is normal. If you plug it in and double click, the light may not flash, the button is broken or there is no Bell firmware catapult. Then click on it again, is there Anch software? You can download it directly click from the, the official website. To download. Click this to download it directly. Right click to find your decompression tool. Unzip it here. We connect the host computer with a serial port. We have just plugged in the host computer. So there will be this CH340 Devis we choose it. And select 115200 on the speed side. Then after turning it O, if such characters are displayed on the screen, Let's hit enter twice. So here I have the keyboard displayed. Fly us user root only. Root user. So we log in directly to the root account. Okay, the password is mellow. If you have an input method, After logging in, we need to connect to the network. Enter Tutti. Enter the string of instructions just now. You can connect to the network. Then we press. We choose Enter. Select and then select your Wi-Fi. It will enter the password. Then enter the password and press enter. It can connect. Then I have already entered the password so it will automatically connect. Then after connecting, it has a signal after we connect. It means the connection is successful.
Press ESC again to come back main page. After returning, we enter the IP address. Then it says IP address will appear we copy it. Then return here and select SSH. Then paste here just copy the internet protocol address. Then we can click this directly. The login operation is the same as the serial port connection. We type root. Then enter the password mellow. Then we click yes, that's it. This is already logging in and connecting to SSH. Let's go back to our official website flyd5. We go back to USB firmware burning. We start burning the tutorial. Then need to use installed the Clipper service in Maku. Connect to Shen then we do this step. Connect the device to the host computer. We've just connected. Please use a normal host computer, like a Raspberry Pi or a Flying Pi. For example, old phone Maku. This kind of Maku has many problems. We cannot provide you with technical support. Please use normal hardware like Raspberry Pi and Orange Pi that can run Linux system. If it is a FlyOS or other Clipper user, Please do not use the root user to log in. Only FlyOS fast it use root user. But FlyOS and other upper computers, please switch to normal users for burning. Then please ensure that the MCU can be connected to the internet normally. We have just connected the host computer to Wi-Fi. Before firmware compilatio, please use SH to log into the host computer through the network. Please do not use the serial port to connect the host computer to burn the firmware. We need to get the internet protocol address. Connect to the host computer with network. Then the next step is to configure and compile Clipper. Page operation instructions. I will demonstrate the keyboard here. Just watch my keyboard demo. Then the QKey exits the Clipper firmware configuration page. When exiting a Clipper firmware page, if prompted, click Y again to save the configuration file. If there are fewer options on the page, please tick the first item. Here's the first one. Okay, first let's choose the first microcontroller chip. We choose Stintium32. Then we use the lower button to select. Then we choose the specific model below. Stintium32 FO72. Choose FO72. Bootloader offset here we choose 8 kilobytes bootloader.
Here's the communication interface select. We chose USB on Pi 11 Pi 12. Okay, let's double check. Everything was chosen correctly. Then compile. We press the Q key to exit Y key to save. We can copy the mix BJ4. Here takes about 30 seconds, please be patient. Please read through all the requirements carefully, as any omissions may lead to a failed flashing process. Please ensure that the host can connect to the network normally, and ensure that the data cable connecting the submachine to the host machine has data transmission capabilities. After sh connecting to the host machine, enter LUS band press enter. If the information circled in the image below is displayed, you can proceed to the next step. Ok, we can now start pasting this L's USB. Copy it. Then paste it in our SSH. Then we found this ID. That's the ID we need. You can see that we have our MCU. What about a system without any feedback? We may need the problem of the Maku. You can replace the normal system or replace the Maku. Some Maku may be due to system problems, or incomplete or not displayed. Okay, so there we go to the last flashing step. When installing and burning, the plugin needs to be connected to the internet. This host computer must maintain the internet. We already connected. If not fly pi, please be sure to execute this code, like orange pi or rosemary pi. Then enter the device ID below. Find ID instructio. Then copy it directly. Then do a paste. Ok, we see we come out with a string of blue IDs. Then this ID is for reference only. Each main board has a different ID. We are using the code below here. Please ensure that the libraries have been compiled. Then your main board ID is the blue string. Replace it. Replace with inside. OK, we'll copy it here. Paste. Then put the back of this blue one, copy this ID. Then compile.
Okay, so flashing is successful. This picture appears, you can compare it. This means the flashing was successful. Here is the D5 tutorial. Thanks for watching.